Alright, this is gonna be a different type of video. Last week when I was dropping on my trailer, I noticed that this trailer bearing's blown. I touched it right here and it burnt my finger. So I'm gonna show you guys how I change them because for some reason my trailer likes to blow through them. You start by removing all the lug nuts. And then once I get all those off, I'll jack it up and show you it with the tire off. When I was looking under it, you can see how bad that is. So if I kept driving it even a little more, that thing probably would have flew off. But I'll get the tire off and show you the rest. So here it is. Haven't even loosened anything. So yeah, that's no good. But I'll get all those junky pieces off, clean it up, and get ready to install the new right, one. So here it is, partially cleaned up. The hardest part about changing this bearing is getting this piece off but i've noticed using this little like window breaker that it helps but hopefully it works this time i'll see if so it all does you do with this it's better than a hammer is you come up and hit the back side of it and it pops off before it took me forever because it you can see how tight it gets on there so let me clean this up get that nut off get the uh, cotter pin out, and we'll get this job finished pretty quickly. With everything off, here's a new one from TA Mahoney's that's already like pre-rigged. So I'm gonna get it all in on. Gotta add the nut, the washers, everything else, and I'll show you how I tighten it up. I keep tightening. Got it almost all the way tightened. What you wanna do is Normally you'd want to have like a wrench that will fit this, but I have this uh, locking wrench and I lock it on here. Tighten it, and you want to tighten this thing as tight as you can because that gets the back seal nice and good so it's so it won't fall off. So I'll show you how I do that. Get a tool like this, or I'm about to grab the crowbar in a second, but you get in there and you just keep draining as tight as you can. And then you just keep going, and once you get it tight, you back off, and this thing should be snugly on there. Right on there. Now you want to back it off a little bit so it spins freely, but you want to make sure that it won't move back and forth like this. So once I do that, I'll show you. Get the tire back on, put the cap on, and then we're done. Gonna bend it back with the pliers, and then put the cap on. Cap on, time for the tire. On. Not moving back and forth. Now the job's finished. Watching that short little video. Uh, right now I'm editing a new video that's gonna be coming out this week, which is from the hogfish trip. There's a nice gag that we got as bycatch from hogfish and so I'll get this video up in a few days and stay tuned for more and subscribe.